Blue Bloods is back tonight for season 12. I had a chance to talk with two of the show's stars about the upcoming season and what it's like to be on such a long running show. So congrats on 12 seasons in, uh, in TV years. That's a lifetime. Either one of you, both of you, what do you credit with the show's longevity and, and its very mass appeal even now 12 years later? I think that it was a recipe for success from day one with, with Tom Selleck playing the commissioner you know, of, of New York City. And um, I think they rounded out a great cast um, with Donnie and, and Bridget and Len Carew um, and Vanessa Ray. And, um, <laughs> we, um, you know, we've, it's just, you know, the, I, the writers have been great. We've had a core group of writers that have been with us, you know, the whole time. And, um, you know, I think a little, a little bit of hard work and a little bit of luck. Um, and it's been a great ride, you know. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Vanessa, as you put it, well, I, I understand that you were a bit skeptical when she first told you that she was auditioning and you thought she could potentially be your love interest. She obviously has won you over. What did it take to, uh, I to you cross over? over? Remember that. What did we do? No? I didn't you, told, you told TV Insider that you were quite skeptical. I was her. skeptical about us getting married, that's for sure. That's because right. I, I thought it was going to be the, the, the death of the great stuff that we had going on um, already at that point. Um, but I think it's, it's worked pretty well. And, and, I, and I think sort of despite um, the odds, because I do think it's really hard to get two characters together on a TV show on a one hour drama that continues on and on. Like essentially if this was a movie, it would be the end of the movie when the two get married. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or they, they walk off into the sunset together. So we walked off into the sunset and we're still walking. Um, so, <laughs> still going. I, but I think it works for us. I think that, you know, Vanessa and I have a great, you know, sort of working dynamic um, mm -hmm. in front of and behind the camera. And, uh, you know, I think that we're able to still kind of stay entertaining for the audience. Mm -hmm. So Vanessa, let me direct this next question to you. Now that your characters are married, can you talk about the couple dynamic? How's the relationship evolving? How do you guys, your characters, how do you handle work and home life and finding time to still be a couple? Well, kind of like Will was saying, like at the end of the movie is usually we're walking off into the sunset. Well, there's a lot of other movies about like when you've been married for a long time and what that looks like and the arguments and the intimate arguments that you get in because of that, because you know each other so well, you're also at a place where you're trying to find your identities within a marriage, uh, within, and then we also have the added dynamic of work. Also my father-in-law is my boss. Like there's all of these different uh, power dynamics that all of a sudden you're thrown into and you know like so many people when you're so young and you're in love you're just like you just want to go for it and then you do it and then you're like wow there's a lot to sort out here there's like a whole new bag of noise that we have to work through every once in a while we have a fight on camera you know and we have well, there's always conflict but we'll have it we'll have a tay to tay in the show and we'll go that felt real like that, <laughs> that feels like that feels like how it would be that feels like that would be okay. Well, we're and you're because you because when you're arguing like that, you're really vulnerable to show your your real ugly underbelly of yourself. So, I think it, I just I hope I I appreciate the audience has gone with us so, thus far on this. So mm -hmm. I I hope that they continue to stick with us while we you know are a young couple. Figuring it out. Yeah. I mean, I think what you just articulated is one of the reasons why people love the show is that it's relatable. The characters are people that we can identify with. Yeah. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. We're excited about the premiere. It was so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.